Gaussian elimination is an algorithm that takes a matrix and applies elementary row operations to it one by one until we are left with a matrix in row echelon form. Let's present that algorithm. And to make this algorithm comprehensible, we'll look at it along with an example. The first step of this algorithm is to se first select the leftmost non-zero column. Well, all of these columns have non-zero entries trees, the leftmost is that. And if necessary, swap rows to make the top entry non-zero. It doesn't matter what numbers here, except that it's not allowed to be zero. Well, we do have a zero here, but swapping rows is an elementary row operation. If we swap the first and the second, or the first and the third rows, that will give us something other than zero here. Let's swap the first and second rows. And now we are going to use the upper left entry to turn everything below it to zero. Well, we already have a zero here. Nothing needs to be done, but we'll use this three to turn this one into zero. And how are we going to do that? Well, one of our elementary row operations is that we can take this top row, multiply it by a constant, and add it to this third row. So we're going to take the top row, multiply it by some constant, and add it to the third row. And we are going to do this in a way that this one turns to zero. What constant? Well, if we're doing addition here and we want to have this be zero, that needs to be a negative one. So this three needs to turn to negative one. And we ask ourselves, well, three times what constant will equal negative one? And we find that the constant we need is negative one third. So three times negative one third is negative one. Four times negative one third is negative four thirds. One times negative one third is negative one third. And we'll finish up this addition negative seven thirds five thirds. And here now is our new matrix. 
the first row is unchanged. The second row is also unchanged because we already had zero. We didn't need to do anything with the second row. But the third row has become zero, negative seven thirds, five thirds. And now that everything below this entry is zero, we are done with the top row. Here's where we're at. And now this algorithm repeats. Remember what I just said, once everything below this three has turned to zero, we are done with the first row. So let's just cover that up. And what should we do now? We should select the leftmost non-zero column. Okay, this is all zeros. The leftmost non zero column is that. If necessary, swap rows to make the top entry non zero. Well, this top entry is already non zero, so it's not necessary. Step two, use this upper left entry to turn everything below it to zero. So we're going to turn this negative seven thirds to zero. And the method we're going to use is that we're going to take this second row, multiply it by a con Stint and add it to the third row. And we're going to do it in such a way that this second entry turns to zero. So for this addition to be zero, we need a seven thirds up here. One times what is a seven thirds? That's an easy one. One times seven thirds is seven thirds. So we're going to take this row and multiply it by seven thirds. Zero times seven thirds is zero. One times seven thirds is seven thirds. Two times seven thirds is 14 thirds. We do the addition. Notice that this is zero, which we got in an earlier step, remains zero. Here we have 19 thirds. And this is our new third row. And now we would just keep repeating this process, except as it happens, we're done. We turned everything below this one to zero. So we're finished with the first and the second row. The leftmost non zero entry is this, but we can't perform step two. There's nothing below this 19 thirds to turn to zero. And this matrix is in 
Rho Echelon form. It satisfies this condition automatically. There are no rows of all zeros. And as for this condition, our leading entries are this, this, and this. Everything below this leading entry is zero. Everything below this leading entry is zero. And there isn't anything below this leading entry. Equivalently, equivalent to this, the leading entries do go right as we descend this matrix. One is to the right of three, 19 thirds is to the right of one. And that's Gaussian elimination.